Hey guys, make sure you stand to the end. One common mistake people make when replacing fuses relays that can cost you thousands of dollars in repairs. Stay with us, we'll explain what it is. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you guys having a Mercedes E-Class. That generation here from year 2010 to year 2016. If you guys have one of those, if you need to find where the cruise control fuse is located, which fuse you need to check, it's actually two of them in two different fuse boxes where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping. That way you do not waste money and time and why it's important to always test fuses and relays. All that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience make sure to stay until the end so before we start let us tell you a little bit about us guys now if you have a mercedes e-class that generation from year 2010 to year 2016 17 guys this is the w212 guys we're going to have a video for every single fuse relay on that car why things do not work why we're making this one because uh we're trying to save you time and money guys let's say you're down the road in the middle of nowhere your car does not start you need to find where your engine starter fuse relay is located guys where you can find fuel injection uh, system uh, fuses fuel pump fuses all you have to do come to the channel watch that video one two minutes you're back on the road guys in addition we'll share where you can buy cheap parts and tools that way you do not waste your money and time every single car we get here at the garage we try to make guys at least two to three hundred free repair videos we take them completely apart we show you how to fix mechanical electrical engine work guys body work a little bit of everything and we have more than 12,000 free repair videos on our channels that can save you thousands of dollars guys in free repair videos check it out if you need help with that so let's go ahead and start on it now so the cruise control fuse guys where you can expect to find it will demonstrate that on this generation mercedes e-class guys this is a pre-facelifted model this is a facelifted model but it should work for both now which fuse we're looking at now guys okay for the cruise control we'll be working two fuse boxes two fuses will need to be checked the first one is under the hood go ahead open the hood here on the driver's side you have a cover open that cover you'll find the main engine fuse box with a layout like this one here now before we guys continue let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays so it is super important guys to always test fuses and relays and something else as well common mistakes people make sometimes you may think that a fuse is good or uh, uh, you cannot actually see if the fuse is clearly burned and in that case guys you may need uh, you may put the fuse back together uh, and you may end up spending money and time on parts you don't need and uh, all we had to do is just test the fuse so we'll put a link in the description of the video below how to test the fuse it takes only a few seconds to find out for sure if it's good or bad the same thing for relays guys okay uh, some of those could be really expensive on cars so we'll put a link in the description of the video below how you can test relays and for some certain fuses guys it's important to disconnect the car battery when removing them otherwise you can burn the electronics and uh, for instance working on airbags fuses or anything like that you need to wait at least one hour after disconnecting the car battery and if you're not qualified and certified to work on airbag system i'll never recommend to do that guys uh, but when disconnecting the car battery guys okay common mistake people make it's important to know which battery terminal you disconnect reconnect first if you do it the wrong way you can burn electronics modules how we know about that we burn uh, before the uh, traction control module on bmw that cost is two thousand dollars guys so uh, we'll put a link in the description of the video below which battery terminal to disconnect first check it out for your convenience here guys for the cruise control we will need to check one fuse then we need to go to a different fuse box check one more now quick guys okay for any of you that need to buy any fuses relays parts tools for your mercedes or any car at a good price quick shipping we will put the link in the description of the video below for your convenience please check it out that way you do not waste your money and time the fuse that we need to check is known as fuse number 36 and that fuse is right here next to the windshield on the right side on the driver's side guys after that you need to open the trunk on the right side you have a cover here open it you'll find the main trunk fuse box here you need to check another fuse and that specifically guys will be fuse number 79 okay depending on which cruise control option you have you may have this one as well Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.